Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. A warm welcome to you guys here on our Facebook Live and also on YouTube. Uh, today, right behind me, we got the 2020 Freightliner M2112. This is a brand new Freightliner, and today we're going to show you why Freightliner and why Summit Hauler. This is a conversion that Transwest, a brand, um, upfitted like so this is our brand so we're going to show you guys a little bit about this truck show you some of the features and tell you why a Freightliner and why Summit Hauler okay so first of all off the bat I have all the storage compartments open right now we got three doors on each side and this is why Summit Hauler storage storage is a big thing that we wanted to include in our trucks and this is one thing that we brought to you on this Summit Hauler Looking at this storage compartment right here, it is a um, connecting storage compartment. Um, and of course, as you guys can see, it does have that airline hookup. Just in case you guys are run flat or need to pump air in, in any of your toys or um, in your cars or whatever like that, you have that compressor and that storage, um, that airline inside the storage bin. One good thing about our storage bins as well, they are all sealed, so no water or any stuff could go inside there. So once it's closed, it's sealed. And of course, one good thing about it too, they are all lockable. All six doors, you can lock all six doors and of course, hide that keyhole right here. As we continue here, this is a small storage box here. And like I said, to keep out the elements and this one is lockable too uh, we got a step stool here so you could um, have easy access going in and out of the truck looking at the tires they are dual tires on both sides so you have four tires in, in total in the back end so on each side has two so these are 275 80 r 22.5s one good thing about those tires too, we have auto balances on each and every end of the truck. So the auto balances are located between the two tires in the back and between the drum and the uh, tire in the front. So I'm going to show you guys that in the front in a little bit. This actually helps the wear and tear on your tires and of course, as the word says, auto balances. So it actually auto balances auto balance the truck while driving so it has a little BBs inside like we normally tell you guys as it rotates it balances the vehicle so you have longer lasting tires on this vehicle um, than the competition out there so this is why Summit Hauler we got our diamond plate on this truck so this will allow you long lasting bed um, avoids getting rusty and of course the chain the look will be the same for many years to come the rhino line insides and interior walls this is another safety or another look we put on this for long lasting for for the bed to be long lasting as well this one is a gooseneck hookup as you guys can see there is a ball in right now um, i decided not to hook up a trailer this morning just to just to show you guys you know more how the truck looks without having a trailer behind it. And one good thing about not having a trailer behind it and driving this truck is our 800 pound counterweight in the back end of the truck. This actually allows you a smoother drive um, when you have nothing behind the truck. And of course allows you, allows the back end of the truck not to do that uh, tail swipe um, when you're in rough conditions like, um, rocky roads um, mud um, wet roads and stuff like that the other good thing we like to show you guys right now i already removed that cap is the bumper pool you have that kurtz twenty thousand pound bumper pool and of course you have a seven pin hookup here as well on this so you do have a bumper pool so i took this plate out we normally have the split on here that goes directly into that and that's how it looks without showing off that bumper pool. So you have the option here for a gooseneck or a bumper pool. A lot of people who requested those trucks 
asked if we could install a fifth wheel hitch on there and we can we have those in stock and our parts department and service department will be able to hook us up and uh, have that install at in store so if you guys want to have the option of having a fifth wheel we do have the hensley trailer saver the hensley trailer saver hitch um, and that could convert to a fifth wheel or a gooseneck ball as well so you do have the option of having that system on this truck to have um, both uh, capability of having a fifth wheel and a gooseneck ball on there as well along with the airbag system it comes with um, since we're in the back here I'm going to show you guys this truck does come with the Voyager system which is a little different on the market right now than the other freight liners we have um, out there so this Voyager system comes with one camera already installed and just the clarity uh, just how clean the, the the view is on this truck I'll show you guys up here it has a separate screen which is pretty awesome so you don't have to continuously put your yeah you know turn the camera on or only wait for when you're in reverse to see the camera so I will show you guys it have a separate system up here you have a hook up here where you could add an additional three cameras to the system this is a hook up here so you could maybe add it to your trailer and stuff like that um, up here is your seven pin hookup for power to your trailer and we got tie downs on all four corners of the truck as well more storage compartments similar to the other side like I said they are all you can secure all of them by locking them up And just to see how it works when the uh, when the handle is sideways you can see that's the release and when it's downwards that's the lock so go in turn lock in place and if you guys want to lock it up this is the way to go we got dual tanks on this particular uh, freight liner uh, 50 gallons on each side um, on our used one you guys saw on a previous video um, the previous customer put in an auxiliary tank and that's an option you could do as well you could add an, add an auxiliary tank to the truck um, the other one was a 118 gallon tank so there's different options to go with so it's up to you guys what you want to do um, in terms of adding auxiliary tanks on there but this truck actually comes with a 100 gallon tank dual tanks 50 on each side so when filling up at the, at the gas station um, you got to fill both sides up so that's something to remember okay let's take a look inside as we're in the back here as you guys can see tons of room and again that's one thing that is why Freightliner or why Summit Hauler we make our seats very comfortable and every single customer I've put inside any of our Summit Haulers they always compliment our seats so it's it's up to you guys if you believe me or not come on down check it out but those seats are super comfortable this back bench actually turns into a bed so you could lay it down you know take a rest at the, at the truck stop before you move on to your next destination um, entertainment you guys you could see right up here we have a big screen and I could I'll open that up once once I go inside but this screen is huge um, for entertainment so you could play all your your favorite movies you could stop at any of those uh, red box places or you could buy those movies and have it in your truck for entertainment taking a look at the passenger seat the passenger seat is air ride it heated and cooling seats up up front and as you guys can see the handles and a few highlights up here are all carbon fiber look makes this an awesome awesome truck i'm gonna take a quick look at the engine this one carries the detroit diesel dd13 and it is partnered with the allison six-speed automatic transmission 4000 trv 
Um, this produces 505 horsepower. Believe it or not, 505 horsepower. So you have tons of horsepower to pull a lot, a lot of different types of trailers. And it has about over 1,800 foot-pounds of torque. So it's amazing. This truck is a good investment. Uh, just so you guys know, on a brand new Freightliner with a GVWR of 43,000 pounds, which this truck has, government has an additional 12% FET tax on the price of this vehicle. So the price of the truck plus 12% FET plus your regular sales tax, which makes it, you know, a big investment. But for the long run, well maintained, well taken care of this truck will last you up to a million miles. So it's up to you how you want to take care of your truck and what you want it to do for you. This truck will last you a long time with this big investment you're about to make on a truck like this. So like I said, it is a DD13 Detroit diesel. And as you guys can see, I just closed, try to close it and it stops, which is a good safety feature to have on a truck like this, especially in windy places. So it doesn't, while you're working on it, it doesn't just slam on your head. And of course, this could do some serious damage if that was the case. So all you gotta do is just add a little pressure to the hood and it goes down, close it up. And on each side has clips, which will tie it down. And of course, if you guys have questions on this truck, the stock number for this truck is 5N200070. And like I said, we have auto balances on every single end of the truck. So between the drum and the uh, front tire, you have the auto balances right here. So once you see that on a truck, you guys know from now it's auto balances, which is a pretty cool feature to have. I'm gonna take a look at the, the driver area. First, we're gonna take a look on the ground here. Uh, right here, we have the, uh, the cutoff. Um, so basically, if you're not using the truck to cut all power to the truck, um, all you gotta do is turn that to off. You will hear a little click just to tell you that it is off. Um, to turn it on, of course, you will see the arrow up here. And then it has off and on right here. If you turn that on, it will do another little click to let you know that there is power as well. On the driver's seat, lumbar system, minus, plus. H for hot, C for cold. Center is off, so you have heated and cooling seats. And of course, you got that air ride system here as well. Taking a look right here, that's where the key go in. Start it up. You have your lights, controls right here, wiper. You have power mirrors, power doors. And then we're gonna take a look inside, kind of show you guys that Voyager system. Kind of show you guys that Voyager system and a few little features inside. This makes this truck unique. Let's take a quick look at that screen I was telling you guys earlier, how big that screen is. It's pretty awesome. All right, taking a look up here, like I said, we have that carbon fiber look, which actually dresses, dresses the truck up pretty good, you know, nice look. Um, you have that uh, Allison automatic transmission up here, your power windows, power locks. It does come with cruise control. That's your parking brake, trailer brake, so it does have the, the hookups for um, air brakes for your trailer. Um, all you guys, um, we come with the, the, the glide hands on there as well. So all you got to do is hook that up and you have your air brake system. Um, you do have two USB ports here for charging, an additional two up here, two down here, sorry. And this actually, once you plug into this, you have your Apple Play and Android system will go directly into this, um, the deck. One good thing about Freightliner and the Summit Hauler, so Summit Hauler, um, does come with rare, rare um, air. So in the back you could have heat or cool air coming straight out from the rear of the truck. So this is this is not on all freight liners. This is especially 
is only on the uh, summit haulers so if the competition see that they might end up starting to do that as well but this is your air vents up here so the back end of the truck has its own air supply um, for cooling and heating you got your engine brake you got two settings you got low off and high that's your engine brake right here um, this is the fan you got three settings for the fan for the rear end so this one is on low center is medium and all the way down is high so you got all the air coming in to the back end on the gauge here going to show you quickly um, you got all your all your systems here you have a primary and secondary air gauge your gas or diesel sorry it does come with def so you have your def lines here as well and of course your speedometer water transmission and oil gauges here as well two horns on those trucks one here one up here and of course tons of storage and this is our voyager system i was telling you guys about once you drive in this could stay on while you drive and see exactly what's happening in the back end of the truck like i said you could add an additional four camera three cameras to the system so a total of four cameras could be added on and just by a press of a button you could actually move through the different cameras so that's camera two camera three camera four and of course you can split them up one two you could go one two three and of course one two three four if in case you have four cameras I could just go back to number one which is the camera that comes with the truck um, it does come with a CB radio antenna so the lines are behind the dash so all you guys got to do is purchase a CB radio and we'll hook that up for you um, if you guys have any questions on this uh, vehicle or any of our trucks on our lot we are very excited for our 2021s um, that will be here in a few months time um, very excited to see the upgrades that we put into this um, so if you guys have any questions on this one or any of our inventory please 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 don't hesitate give me a call like you guys normally do at 303 684-3412 or on my cell at 661-755-4344 or you could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com I want to thank you guys so much for always tuning in and giving me calls like I've gotten so many calls just for you viewers looking at those videos so thank you guys so much for tuning in and hope to, hopefully I'll see you guys next week for another amazing video stay safe out there and have a great weekend. Thank you.